Chapter 18. The girl was still $20 short on her paint fund. Much of what she made at the flea market each Saturday she spent the following week on lunch for herself and the boy. She was a go-getting earner, but not a great saver. She had been pestering Refrigerator John for more ways to earn money, and that's why night crawlers came to mind as he banished the kids to opposite sides of the living room. He let them fire a few more I hate yous at each other, and he ordered them to be quiet and told them he'd been thinking about opening a bait shop. A lot of people fish in the river round here, you know. Get me some worms. I'll clear off a shelf in the corner of the workshop. I'll nail up a sign. All I need is somebody to catch the bait. He looked at one and then the other. The boy sniffed. You mean us? John nodded. How much? said Primrose. John thought, well, let's see. Regular worms are small and easy to catch. Maybe a nickel a piece. Minis are small too, but harder to catch. 10 or 15 cents. But what I'm really going to need are night crawlers, big and hard to catch. He thought some more, mm, say 20 cents each. What's a night crawler, said the boy. A worm, a worm, sneered Primrose. A big worm, said John. I seen him a foot long. The boy gasped. Wow. His face was returning to its normal color. He put his palms together and drew them apart till the space between seemed like a foot to him. Wow. They only come out at night, said John, especially after a good rain, and there's a special way to catch them. If you do, somebody's got himself a fat catfish. A quarter apiece, said the girl, always turning the screw. John gazed thoughtfully at the ceiling. He nodded. Okay. Does that go for me too, said the boy? If I catch a night crawler, do I get a quarter? Sure do, said John. Business is business. The boy clapped. All right. When the kids came back by the next day, John was ready with two flashlights. Each had a piece of red balloon stretched over the lens of the flashlight and secured by a rubber band. Let's go outside, he said. It's time for school. He led them into the sun-bright weed field that bordered much of Tulip Street. He stopped and stood for a minute, saying nothing. He grinned at the boy. Feel anything? The boy was puzzled. (laughs) No. John chuckled. Just kidding. He pointed to the ground. They're down there, just a couple inches under your shoes. The boy looked down and gave a visible shudder. Primrose snickered. Thing about night crawlers is, John said, you can't feel them, but they can feel you. Um, At least when you're walking regular, they can. Right now they can't um, because we're still. So here's the first thing you got to do. He got down on his hands and knees. You got to crawl along real slow and easy and quiet. His voice dropped to a whisper. No talking. Signal with your hands or with the lights. The boy was on his hands and knees beside him. Got it? The boy nodded. Got it. John squinted up at Primrose. Okay, now, second thing about night crawlers is they're real sensitive to light. They don't like it. Look here. He twisted his forefinger into the dirt until he had drilled a half-inch hole into the ground. The crawler comes up out of his hole, except for one thing, his tail. The rest of him is laying out on the ground. Maybe all 12 inches of him, but his tail is still in the ground. He looked at David. Do you know why? Primrose answered. Quick getaway. John jabbed his thumb up. That's right. He, if he sees your light, He made a worm down the hole sound. He's gone. He took the boy's flashlight. He held it before his eyes. But that's only if it's regular light. You see, the thing about crawlers is, he flickered the switch. The rubber circle brightened. They can't see red light. His eyes met theirs. The boys whispered. Wow, Primrose said. Nothing, but it was clearly impressed. He went through the whole routine, then crawling, shining the red light, grabbing the worm at the burrow entrance. Grab her between your fingers and hold her tight, he said. You won't be able to pull her out right away because the crawler digs into the sides of the hole and hangs on. They can be stubborn. The boy laughed. (laughs) Yeah, stubborn. 
Yep, but just be patient. Sooner or later, she'll relax and you can pull her out of the ground. How do you know it is a girl? said the boy. Oh. Primrose thumped him. Yeah, he's just saying that. She turned to John. But how do you know all of this? John pushed heavily off his good leg and got himself upright. I used to hunt him myself before I got into the appliance business. They walked back to his abode. Primrose said, I'm not touching those things without gloves. Me either, said the boy. Two days later, it rained.